welcome to the Massachusetts General Hospital. My name is Victoria and I work with Dr. Rachel Buckley to scan participants for the Harvard Aging Brain Study. Today, you'll be learning what an MRI study is all about and what you'd likely be doing for the Healthy Brain Project. This scan is being filmed in the US because this is where Dr. Buckley is currently living. However, if you're volunteering for the Healthy Brain Project sub-study, you will be receiving your MRI scan in Melbourne, Australia. This is the changing area and waiting room. Before you change into MRI Safe Hospital Guard, a member of the scanning team will walk you through our safety checklist once more. You've probably already answered these questions, but we will ask you again right before your scan to make sure nothing has changed. It's important that we are notified ahead of time if there are any implants in your body, so we have time to make sure that they are MRI safe and won't cause any problems. So we can go through the checklist together. Dr. Buckley, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. Have you had any falls recently? No. Do you need help to walk today? No. Do you have a history of head trauma? No. Any surgical aneurysm clips? No. A cardiac pacemaker? No. A prosthetic heart valve? No. A neurostimulator? No. Any implanted pumps? No. Any cochlear implants? No. Any metal rods, plates, no. screws, clips, or pins anywhere in your body? No. Any other surgery leaving implanted material? No. An IUD? No. Any hearing aid or dentures? No. Any injury to your eye with metal before? No. Are you pregnant or breastfeeding? No, but the previous point actually, I had LASIK surgery, okay. so laser eye surgery, yep. but I've already been cleared from a previous MRI, so I've had an MRI post okay. that surgery, yep. so I know I'm okay there. Yep. Do you have Meniere's disease or vertigo? No. Any tattoos? No. Do you, have, do you wear a transdermal patch like for nicotine or memory on your skin? No. Okay, great. So I'll have you initial and sign right here and write the date. Yeah. Great. And I'll sign right below you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So now we can have you get changed into our hospital garb. So here at MGH, we will provide you with this gown that opens in the back and it ties together. Its arms tie together so that it opens in the mm -hmm. back like that. Uh, we will give you these pajama pants that just go on like regular pants. It's very fashionable. And we'll have you wear this robe that goes over the back to keep your back warm. Uh, we'll ask you to remove all your clothing, including a brassiere if you wear one. Um, underwear can stay on as long as there's no metal snaps or buttons or components or anything like that. Um, and again, we'll give you these socks to wear instead of shoes. So have you come into here. One thing that may depart from uh, what we do here in a, versus what we do in Australia is that sometimes you are allowed to wear your clothing. It depends on the place that you go to get scanned. All right, thanks so much. I'll get changed. Sounds good. So before we actually head into the scanner, we'll do one last check for any metal on your body. So is there anything in your hair that you could remove? No. Anything from your teeth that's removable? No mm -hmm. jewelry? Can I see both of your wrists? Yeah. Great, you forgot to take, or you did take off all your jewelry, yeah. which is awesome. Um, and otherwise, you are good to go. So great. next time you see us, we'll be in the scanner room. All right, great. So now that you're in the scanner room, we're going to ask you to lie down on this bed and put your head on the pillow so your shoulders are just about touching the plastic. Mm -hmm. All right, so you might want to Lift her up, but she's not going all the way in. 
says tell pictures of her brain while she's in the scanner. All right, how are you doing? Doing great. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes. We're going to shine a bright light and you'll feel yourself moving back but you're not going all the way in yet. So what I'm doing now is lining up Dr. Buckley's brain with the sensors of the scanner. Okay, you can open your eyes now. All right, so if you're ready to go, we can send you into the scanner. Fantastic. When you're going inside, you should tuck up your elbows a little bit to make yourself kind of small. But once you're inside, you can rest your elbows on the sides of the scanner and relax. Okay, here we go. All right, we'll begin the scan. This is where we will actually do the scan. I'm able to uh, talk to Dr. Buckley while she's in there, check in with her and make sure she's okay. I'll give her instructions for each scan and just generally keep up communication. Dr. Buckley, are you doing okay? Yep, doing great. Awesome, this next scan will be about six minutes long. Keep your eyes open and staring at the cross on the screen. If you're ready to go, squeeze the ball. All right, great, here we go. And that's it, folks. Once you're in the scanner, we'll have you in there for about 45 minutes. We'll be chatting to you throughout the session to make sure that you're okay and not falling asleep. And we'll me be measuring things like your brain volume and also your brain function while you're just lying there and thinking about nothing in particular. Thanks for watching this video. Please feel free to ask any questions at thehealthybrainproject at gmail.com or post up a query on our forum at healthybrainproject.org.au or go to our Facebook page. On behalf of myself, Dr. Buckley, and the researchers at MGH, Fred, <laughs> and Victoria, and you'll see Olivia there holding the camera, thank you very much for watching our MRI video today.